Welcome to Film in 5D, the show about everything film with the 5D Mark II. I'm your host, Aaron Hammock, and this week I show you some cool audio effects. How cool? Super cool. Would you say ice cool? No, I wouldn't say that. Now, as in past episodes, I'll be using Adobe Audition because, I mean, that's what I have, that's what I use. I've talked about it before and how great it is, but the main reason I use it is because it works seamlessly with Premiere. And if you already use Premiere to edit your audio, I would strongly suggest using that Audition for its expanded feature set and simplicity. But anyway, today I'm going to show you a few cool audio effects that perhaps you didn't know about. In past episodes regarding audio, I mainly talked about corrective audio techniques, which are very important for a good foundation. But when it comes to the believability and realism of a final mix, you really need to know your way around the different effects available to you. I've used various audio effects and sketches from the past, including our short film from nearly a year ago, where the narrator's voice was filtered heavily to make him sound outerworldly, and even extensively in last week's Halloween special. Let's take a listen to the before and after of one of the clips. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? Huge difference right there. And this is achieved with a combination of a few effects I'm about to show you. Um, picking up some weird audio. Did you hear that? The first effect I want to talk about is Echo. Now the nice thing about Echo is that it's an extremely common effect and can therefore be found in most editing programs built right in. But once again I love Audition because it gives me that much more control. You can find the Echo effect under the Delay and Echo tab. Once added you'll see a whole bunch of customizable values. But if you're like me and don't have the time for all that crap, just choose one of the presets. For example, on the last clip I just selected the Spooky preset and adjusted a few of the delay times and I was done. Oh, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but if you're using Audition, always always use the effects rack for adding effects. If you apply your effects directly to your clip, they will be baked in and therefore you can't remove them individually at a later point. But if you use the effects rack, you can listen to your clip while turning the effects or multiple effects on and off. And once you've achieved the sound you want, just hit apply. This is kind of along the same lines as Photoshop, where you never want to adjust your photo directly, but instead use adjustment layers that can be edited at any point. But anyways, moving on to the next effect, which is actually very similar to Echo, and it's actually called Reverb. Now reverb is different from echo in that instead of hearing the exact same sound over and over again as it slowly dies off, like a voice in the Grand Canyon for example, with reverb you're hearing the sound bounce off all different types of things within the environment. Thus reverb is especially good for dubbing or foley, because you can take the sound you recorded in a studio setting and make it sound like it was actually coming from that environment you're displaying on screen. Now when you look under reverb you'll see several different effects. What I can tell you is that you'll find them all useful at one time or another, because all of them have unique presets that go along with them. But I tend to use full reverb most often, because it seems to have the presets that one would associate with filmmaking. Let's take a look at some of the presets we have here. The church, lecture hall, living room. There's just so many to choose from. Let's go ahead and select the church and see what happens. Now I'm in a church. Wow, it's absolutely magnificent in here. I mean, look at all those murals and those stained glass windows over there. Wow, it's beautiful. So just take some time and familiarize yourself with some of these presets. They're especially helpful for people like us who most of the time can't afford to shoot on location. So we wind up trying to make it look like we shot in that location while shooting somewhere else, only to realize that our characters seem like they're in a completely different location entirely. But moving on to the final effect I wanted to show you today, which is filter and EQ. Now we've talked about adjusting character dialogue, but what about other dialogue elements like music for example? In last week's sketch, our victim was listening to some Lady Gaga on the radio from his iPhone. Therefore the music had to sound really thin and distorted. Let's listen to the before and after once again. Buying drinks in bars, boys, boys, boys. Buying drinks in bars, boys, boys, boys. Okay, so in this situation, you can either play the music off the phone and just record that, or you can add effects to make it sound how you want. But the one thing you want to avoid completely, and I saw people do this all the time in film school, is actually have the music playing while you're recording with the intent of using that in the final mix. If you do this, not only are you going to get harsh cuts, but also you're restricting your actor or actress to a specific time when they must start or finish a line, which really isn't a good thing. But I'll address that more down the road with an episode on directing. So in this case, I'll just add an FFT filter, which once again has a bunch of presets for you to try out. The Club Downstairs preset is one that I find particularly useful. 
We've all seen that student short film that takes place at a party or some club, and the music is full blast, so much so that you can't even hear the characters. But when they step outside, I find that many new filmmakers will just lower the volume significantly. Well, if you add a filter to that music, it will help it to seem more diegetic and within that actual environment. Wow, I guess my neighbor really likes Taylor Swift. But that's it for this week. I want to wish everyone a happy and safe Halloween and try to make something spooky and atmospheric using the techniques I've just showed you. If you have any questions, you can send them to our Twitter page at twitter.com forward slash filming 5D or you can post them on our Facebook wall at this link here. We'll be back next week with some political satire. Political satire? Yeah. Why not, you know? Because next week's like election week, whatever. Oh, yeah, that thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, what about Halloween? Like, what's your, gonna be your costume? For Halloween? Yeah. Is it that hard? Oh, it's hard. Well. Hey. Halloween's not for another week, you freak. <laughs> I saw him walking. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs>